They gon' love me for my ambition. Hey, record. <laughs> I be so like, what the heck? <laughs> All right. Um, Blue Day started very randomly. It kind of just came to me one day while I was literally scrolling on my phone shopping. And I thought to myself, all of these things I can sell. Like I can market these things and I can sell them. And I think in a better way than what I've seen, you know. Um, Blode started also because a lot of times people ask me like, hey, where can I find similar earrings? You know, like I've seen in this picture. Hey, where can I find similar shirt? Like I've seen this picture and I've always been able to kind of find it. So I'm like, well, people are always coming to me for some kind of, I don't want to say I'm a fashion guru because I'm not, but people are always coming to me for some kind of like fashion advice or tip somehow. And I was like, well, this can be a good way to market myself because obviously I have something to offer. So Blue Days kind of started out that way, like very randomly. Um, I wanted to start Blue Day to kind of change the narrative of what we see in the media when it comes to Africa, right? We're used to seeing feed the children with kids with big bellies and flies on their noses. We're used to seeing poverty. Blue Day has changed the narrative in a sense that I want to bring, show people how luxurious Africa really is. I want to show people how much richness our culture and diversity has to offer. And I'm doing this through this brand. And my plan is to showcase the continent. So I'm focusing mostly on Liberia and West Africa at the moment, but I really do want to showcase the beauty, the culture and the diversity of the continent. So this is why Blue Day is so important. Today means the birth of my baby. I have been gestating this baby for almost a year now, and it's time to present my gift to the world. And you know, just as parents birth actual human children and you train them to, to bring something to the world, to offer something to the world in a positive way. And Blue Day, I hope and I know will offer something to this world in a positive light. You know, the plan is to grow this into an enterprise. So Blue Day right now is starting off as a young business. And I say this because when people say small businesses is limiting, a young business has potential to grow, right? Because when you're young, it's inevitable. You have to get older. You have to grow. When you're a small business, it's a bit limiting. So this young business is starting off as women accessory at the moment, but we plan to expand ourselves into um, clothing, bags, shoes, home, kids, men, so beauty even. So Blue Day is starting off now as a young business, but we will become an enterprise. Remember that. Um, this wasn't planned. It wasn't, this business, building this business wasn't planned. Um, initially my thought was to, as you all know, I'm a physician, so it was to have like a practice and maybe have like a boutique next to my practice so my patients can shop while they wait because you know the doctor waits so long. But, um, you know, that's like years down the line. This came to me so randomly. I was like literally like shopping on my phone and I was like, I could, I could do this. Like I can sell these things. I could market this. I could do this. So right away, it literally almost a year ago, the first person I talked to was my baby sister, Lee. And I was like, this is what I wanna do. Like, what name should I do? We wanna do like a bunch of names. And she was like, Samina Selection. I was like, that sounds like an Instagram boutique. I'm bigger than that. <laughs> so um, Gifty was the one I was like, well, why don't you just use your middle name? So my middle name is Blow Day. My father's name is Blow, We stands for Earth, and Blow Day is like Blow's mom, right? So it's like mother of the earth, pretty much. Um, I want this brand to change the narrative for West Africa. When you think of West Africa, you, what do you think of? Like poverty, right? You think of like, they need help, they're poor, they're suffering. I want this brand to really showcase how 
we are as a culture, how rich the culture is, how diverse the culture is. I want us to really show us as kings and queens, right? Because that's who we are. And right now I'm starting off with women accessories, but the plan is to grow from there into fashion, you know, clothing, bags, shoes, kids, men, household stuff, beauty. So Blode is now a young business, meaning when you're young, it's inevitable, inevitable, right? You have to grow. A small business is kind of like you're stuck in that mindset. You're a small business. But when you're a young business, it's inevitable. You have to grow. So I'm marking myself as a young business because I know that I'm going to grow. And I hope that you always stay with me, grow with me. We could do this again in another five years when we are much bigger than where we are right now. Um, Blode is culture, Blode is elegance, Blode is style and grace, Blode is me, and Blode is all of you. So I would like us to raise our glasses to Blode, to growth, and to the betterment of Africa. Ooh. Cheers! So tonight I enjoyed all the accessories.
I would like to leave with customers and just people in general is that you could be more than one thing. Yes, I'm a physician and medicine is definitely my passion, but I'm also a businesswoman and it's possible to be many things all at once. Do not let the world limit you. Do not limit yourself. The sky is not the limit. There is an entire galaxy out there to explore and I want everyone, young girls, young men, women, to know that it's possible to do anything you put your mind to. So go out there and explore the galaxy. <laughs> All right, I felt good about that. Yeah, wanna be a billionaire.